This new season is already so much fun, but things are going to get even better with some huge new updates, collaborations, and even the return of Midas coming to the game. This will be in the form of Ascendant Midas. You can see an early look of him on screen here is he's coming back to the game in a huge way. And he's actually bringing all of his buddies from Chapter 2 Season 2 with him. And his return to the game this season will see lots of map changes, mini events, and even the return of LTMs. It's going to be massive. Apparently, there's little Easter eggs dotted around the island pointing at Midas coming back, which starts with the golden reboot card which can be found in the prison cell in the underworld poi which is originally where midas has been locked up and held prisoner midas will soon be breaking out of the prison the door will be turning gold and the island will be changing in a big way sky brutus meowsles and jewel npcs can all be found across the island and when talking to them you'll get different dialogues all talking about midas potentially returning one of the coolest things we'll see is the big yacht on the island is slowly starting to convert back to being midas's this is originally taken over by a society last season and the society statue is still on the boat but this boat will change back to being fully owned by Midas with his own vault on the boat with Midas's iconic statue returning as well. For any of you that have missed the floor is lava LTM that will be coming back but it's technically the floor is gold. That's right the lava as it rises up will actually have a gold glow to it with some really really cool effects including to go up to the lava touching it will turn your weapons to gold just as if Midas has touched it. There'll be golden vending machines appearing around the map and there'll be specific quests tied to this limited time mode will give you a ton of golden cosmetic rewards which look absolutely amazing also keep your eye out right now for golden chickens wandering around the island find these guys to get yourself a load of gold and it wouldn't be right if midas returns without the drum gun this is a brand new version of the drum gun coming to the game soon along with side new items and weapons over the next few updates the drum gun specifically will look a little bit different you'll be able to mod it and yes there's going to be a mythic midas drum gun version meaning we're most likely going to see midas as a boss probably on the yacht very soon later this season. That's not all that will be returning though. There's also the hand cannon which was spotted in the trailer for this season. will also be returning and unlike last season where if we got unvaulted weapons they'd return but they weren't any different and you couldn't mod them. These guns coming back will be moddable. That means you'll be able to put a sight and attachments on the hand cannon which I personally cannot wait for. The tactical AR has also been updated for mod support as well and will be brought back to the game in an update in the near future. There's also some new items coming including the shield bubble junior. This works the same as a normal shield buddy, but is a far smaller area. You can probably only fit like one or two people in it. And also the new forbidden fruit. It says consume a banana of the gods. It only gives you 25 HP, but gives you a ton of sprint speed, reduced stamina drain, and full damage immunity. Jeez, you really are a god if you find this one on the island. Another weapon spotted in the seasonal trailer, but isn't in-game, but will be coming soon, is actually Hades Chain. This won't be a mythic as a lot of people thought. It's actually an epic rarity, similar to the wings you can get right now on the map. These will allow you to pull enemies towards you as an attack with combos at close melee range. With a little bit of a cooldown, it'll be another really cool god greek themed weapon coming very soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel right now because as soon as these get added into the game over the coming weeks, I'm going to be covering it first right here. But that's not the only new weapon as Fortnite and Star Wars are coming together and found in the in-game files. It's a new Wookiee bowcaster that will be coming to the game soon. Doing 40 damage to the body, 70 to the head. With infinite ammo, it reminds me very much of the old Valentine's Day crossbow they added in years and years ago. I hope it's a little bit better than that because that thing was not very accurate. The cool thing is it's a little bit different because you can fire an individual bolt quickly or charge up using a heavier explosive bolt, making this very unique. And of course, with a new Star Wars weapon, you'll most likely see Star Wars collaborations with the Wookiee skins and more characters coming to the game. Get ready for them and put code Alley into the item shop like all of these guys. It is the best way to support me if you enjoy my videos. Chapter 5 Season 2 is set to last until May the 24th, so the most appropriate day for this Star Wars collaboration to drop with new weaponry and new skins is of course May the 4th Star Wars Day where we've seen previous Star Wars collaborations drop into the world of Fortnite so keep that date in mind for this one. The secret skin this season is one I'm super excited about. Korra from the Legend of Korra the Avatar TV series will be available in about 24 days time as a secret skin but that collaboration is going to go far more beyond that. You can actually see one of the new mythics which is water bending. You've not seen a TV show but it's fire, water, earth and air. All of these different elements that you can control. It looks like all of these will be available as mythic bending abilities in Fortnite. This collaboration will go beyond Korra with its own mini battle pass and the big free reward that you'll be building up towards in this mini battle pass is going to be Upper as a glider. Other characters that we can see for this collaboration align with the live action Avatar series which is currently out on Netflix. We've got Aang who's the master of airbending. We've got both Sokka and Katara that could also come in as waterbenders. Zuko and Azula could both be firebender skins coming 
into the game. And Toph, the most incredible blind earthbender, would make an incredible incredible item shop and mini battle pass skin lineup and actually all you need in game files is a date may the 3rd which is actually when this collaboration will finish and you will actually get the start of this collaboration at some point in april which is only one month away which would actually date wise lead really nicely from this season into the avatar collaboration and then into the star wars content we mentioned earlier on in this video kicking off on may the 4th but it turns out the Korra isn't the only secret skin as when the new season first went live people found a few additional styles for skins that would be worth meant to see. Aphrodite is a third Heartbreaker style shown in the locker by accident, which was a little bit of a glitch. And the Medusa outfit also had a third Stone Sorcerer style shown in locker for a very short period of time. This could be a part of the secret rewards that we unlock later on in the season, and something that I'm utilizing to get a ton of XP, and it would be great for you guys to fly through the battle pass is the incredible creative map Zombieland. When you jump in, you'll be met with hordes of zombies that you can use all of the new weapons that are in the Fortnite season to test out and use yourself to take down these zombies to get yourself an incredible amount of XP. The more you grind on the map, the better the weapons you can unlock and use, and the even quicker you can get that XP. It's also just really fun to hang out with your friends and shoot all over the zombies, so just search for the map Zombieland and click on the one that you see here. Make sure you favorite it so you can come back and play it again at a later time to get a load of easy XP to rank up your battle pass. More collaborations are coming in the form of Jujutsu Kaisen Wave 2. New skins are in the works right now, thanks to some tournament leaks letting us know that there's going to be another Jujutsu Kaisen Cup coming in the very near future. The expected skins are to be Yuta, Maki, and Gito. Hopefully I said those names properly. And it's incredible to know that although the season's just started, so much new stuff is coming. I do have some sad news about things that look like they're gone forever. Reality augments are a big part of Chapter 4. And Fortnite had a load ready to go live in Chapter 5, but decided to pull them. And now Fortnite have fully removed reality augments from the in-game files. It looks like instead, Match Quest, which is where you pick a challenge at the beginning of the game to try and complete, is going to permanently replace augments and as much as I loved getting perks throughout a game, it seems Fortnite have evaluated them and aren't as keen on them. So for the moment, they aren't going to be a part of Fortnite. But thanks to some awesome leaks, we can get an early look at some starter packs coming to the game, including the Battle Royale starter pack with the Clara outfit, which will come with some really cool cosmetics and some V-Bucks as well. The Lego pack, which will be the Bright Agent outfit, including some cosmetics and also the Bright Lego kit, which are different building parts you can actually make in the world of Lego. Fortnite recently added buyable Lego sets in the shop that allow you to build different sets that weren't currently available. A lot of people are not liking the fact that these are being sold, but if you've got any thoughts on them, I'd love to hear them in the comment section. Have you picked any of them up, or are you not keen on them? Because this is a big change to how the item shop works with the new LEGO mode. And then finally, the Save the World pack includes Dr. Vinderbolt. This will also give you Save the World access if you don't already. And a friendly reminder again, if you pick up these starter packs or anything else in the item shop, Code Ali A is the best way to support my videos. I am so excited for the return of Midas, but if you're yet to get a win this season, and click on screen here to find out the best tips to help you win. And don't forget to search up Zombieland, get yourself some easy XP and rank up that battle pass.